Hello Internet! Today we have this 5090 in for repair, which according to its owner, fails to post. So I immediately look at the hook to see if there's any cracks, but there is none. The power connector is not melted either, which is weird, considering the owner had chunk modded the card. Another interesting fact about this card is that it is an absolute beast. It has three fans at the front and one more in the back, making this card a perfect candidate for a suicide shunt mod. I don't like shunt mods, because pushing more power through the board can cause inner layers not being able to handle the load and fail in places you least expected. But that's just my take on that, and you don't have to take me seriously. Matter of fact, I don't even care. The more you break these, the more money I make. Either way, on the inside, we have a chipped off coil some sign of liquid, and the main attraction is the greatest shunt mod I've ever seen. Oh my God! Makes me wonder if the owner of this card is this guy. I'm learning. I am improving, but slowly. You can all go flux yourself. I then found this piece of gray matter, thinking it may belong to the coil so I can glue it on, you know, just because I'm bored. And it just happened to be a piece of pad. But in any case, the shunt mod looks incredible. Usually, these resistors are soldered directly on top, but in this case, they were soldered slightly above. Maybe it gives more memory. Who knows? So, first order of business is to remove all of that using a pair of tweezers and hot air for assistance. These things have a lot of mass, and just using your soldering iron set to maximum temperatures may not always work. After that, I'll go ahead and clean it up, and now it's time to check for resistances. I am not exactly sure what's what in here. If you really care, you can find all of these readings on my Discord server. And since I'm not finding any shorts, I guess it's safe to power it on and see what it does. The thermal image looks good to me, so let's boot the card and see if it posts. And it posted. Not sure why. I thought this thing was supposed to be broken. After drivers were installed, I got a black screen. System isn't frozen according to my caps lock, so I'll reboot the PC and see if it still works. And it looks like it does. I'm not exactly sure why the image was lost during the driver installation. Maybe the driver package was old, and I'm getting old too, or maybe it's both, who cares. Customer also complaining about being able to boot the card, but only in X4, which suggests that there could be problems with the data line integrity. But according to my data line tester, there shouldn't be any problems with the data lines. So I proceeded with the reassembly, properly supporting the card, as you can see here. Ran some tests and found absolutely no issues with anything the owner had mentioned. My best guess is that his problem came from poorly sitting the GPU into the motherboard slot. Either way, I'm done here. Hopefully this video was educating, at the very least. And uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more repairs. Goodbye.